Hey everyone, this is Jet, an engineer from Wacom. Today I want to share with you the new function of PI HMI. First of all, let's see why we need the multi-link function. Let's imagine a scenario. A user has a large factory with a main PLC and the three device stations. The distance between the stations is 100 meters. The user needs to control the PLC in all stations. But the PLC and HMI only support serial port connection. In this case, we can use the multi-link function. After using the multi-link function, the slaves can control and view the project of the master. Only the IG series can support this function. If a 3000 IG is used as a master, it can link to 10 slaves at the same time. For the 8000 IG, the number is 32. There are three things to notice. 1. The master and slave need to have the same image version. 2. The master and slave need to be the same line environment. 3. The master and slave need to have the same resolution. Now, let me show you how to configure it. First, go into the backstage of the HMI and check the image version of these HMIs. Then, click the IP of these HMIs to ensure they are in the same line environment. All these HMIs are PI3070 IG, so they have the same resolution. Let's check the master setting. For the master, there is nothing that needs to be set. The only setting is the password, which makes the sliver enter the password when connected. But we can leave it blank in this demo as it is as 68. For the slave, we can see all the other HMIs in the same line. We can choose one of them as the master. Then, click the connection and set the master's password. If the master has no set the password, we can simply click OK and leave the password blank. If the slave connection is successful, we can see the QR code and the machine ID on the master page. Now, the master and slave are synchronized. The next topic is about the group function of multi-link. In a normal multi-link setup, all slaves and the master share the same screen, but if the user needs to focus on maturing the data of a single station, they can use the group function. This allows user to view different screens of the master on different slaves. Let's open the master page again. We can see there is a button for the group. Click it, and we can enter the group page. We add the group, set the group name, and the screen number. The screen number refers to the initial screen of the slave, and it must come from the program. Then, we add the slave to the group. Okay, now I have set up three different groups for three different stations. Let's restart the HMI and see the result. Now, the three slaves view different stations, and all of them can control the master. That's all I want to show today. Thanks for watching.